singer, songwriter, actress, Grammy winner, Emmy winner. Yes! The list goes on and on for the many talents of Jennifer Nettles. Now Jennifer's back. She's hosting season two of the popular dating series. It's called Farmer Wants a Wife, where four farmers and a group of single ladies are looking for love. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Y'all know I love it here. We you love you know so much. I love to come and be with we you. We just say, well, you're, everything's hitting right now for you. We want to talk about this show, obviously, but yes. you have so many things that are hitting. You just won an Emmy. You have another show coming out with Kevin Bacon. You've got this going. You're working on something for Broadway. Yes. I feel like you're in your, like, create, most creative moment right now. You know, I think you guys like to say um, it gets better. Yeah, yeah. greater yes. later. Greater later. She's like, yeah. Yes, I like rhymes. great. It does. Yeah. I like a rhyme yeah. too. Yeah, greater later, and I definitely can feel that. You know, I feel that sort of that that momentum and mm -hmm. that energy in my career and in my life. And you know, especially when you decide to have a family. Mm -hmm. Pacing changes mm -hmm. a yeah. bit, and you and you you make different decisions of where you want to spend your time. Yeah. But as our kids get older, we look mm -hmm. at it and we say, okay, now where where do I want to be where now? Be? And so these all these things are happening. Oh. You and Huda uh -huh. both are celebrating big birthdays Miles this year. Miles 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 mega big, and you, yours is pretty big too. I, I mean, they're the same bigness. You're turning fifty. 50. Yep. What? How do you feel in this stage of mm -hmm. your life? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I feel great. Yeah. I feel blessed. I think health is wealth. Yeah. Mm. And it's interesting as we do get older that we start to focus on that in a different way. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel good. I feel like, you know, we are, I, all of us are just reaching a, a different stride, yeah. a new stride. And it feels also strange, too. Yeah. I'll be honest, strange, like yeah. the number doesn't match how I feel. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> it's so interesting that all these accolades and things are coming. Some people strive for them. They go for it. But I feel like things come to you. This Emmy sort of came Off. to you. I mean, isn't that, isn't that how this one worked? Yes. I mean, I really feel like I just try to say yes to the universe yeah. and offer my best. And I think the more we say yes to the universe, I mean, a no is powerful, too. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, just you say, as powerful. Saying yeah. Yes is a superpower, yeah. which I but it love. Is, it can be a superpower. So to I think what it, it's a place like. of it's a gratitude. I think yeah. a place of gratitude more than anything. And we can use gratitude as a shield. We can use it as a sword to clear the way. Mm. Um, but I think yes is part of that gratitude because if the universe is offering it and it and it sits authentically with me, then why not do it? Let's yeah. do it. Let's try, try it. it. Yeah. yeah. And then when do you use your nose? Mm -hmm. Like that's because I actually think also with age mm -hmm. comes the confidence or to say, you this, isn't you this isn't for me. This isn't for me. No, you until know? you can say a solid, clear, easy no, yes doesn't mean nearly as much. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like, yeah, I, I reserve my nose for the things that feel important to me, that feel like boundaries, that feel yeah. like um, my own self-worth. I reserve my nose for those. Things. What about an uh, acoustic yeah. album? Yeah. Can I say? I would love an acoustic album. By the way, that would be so I would beautiful. love to do that. I have I have thought about that for a while and am waiting on the right time because I, I that would be so That's meaningful so you. for me. Yeah, yeah it's so just you. to strip things down. And when you think about like Stay, for example, yeah. you know, like that was all it was was yeah. guitar and vocal. I That's... think there's a lot of a lot of real soul in that. All right, let's talk about this other show you're here for. Okay, yes. Uh, let's for Farmer wants, got a wife. Wants a Farmers wife. want a wife. Farmer Wa wants, wants a wife. Wants a wife. Let's take a look yes. at the season two premiere. <laughs> Are you ready to find love? <laughs> I know this process might seem a little bit unconventional, but let me tell you that it works, okay? Out of this experience around the world, we've had over 200 marriages and over 500 children. <laughs> So who thinks they've got what it takes to make it in the country? They're like, I don't know about 500 babies, but I'll, I'll try. I mean, why do you feel like it has that yes. type of success? I, because it's real. Because yeah. the people who are on here are looking for love. The, the environment that this show has created is one of authenticity mm. and one of really searching for love and searching for your person and your partner. It's not just about, hey, I want to be a 15 seconds of fame yeah. Instagrammer and, you know, yeah. get my following up. It's like, it's, it's real. All right, Aww. well, we want to meet some of the hunky farmers. So yes. we're going to take a little break, and they're going to join us okay, coming up great. right after this. Good. So what about Broadway?
I'm a fourth generation uh, citrus and cattle farmer, and so it's kind of been in my blood my whole life. And to keep this beautiful thing alive is very important to me. Uh, I was a doubt, a pretty rough hand growing up. Uh, my dad passed away when I was 12. And I felt like I needed to be the man of the house to always provide the best for my sisters and my mom. I matured a lot faster than a lot of people my age. I know I'm young, I'm only 23, but now I feel like I'm ready. I'm ready to find that true person to settle down and have family, have kids. This farmer wants a wife really bad. Oh, no. So sweet. That's a look at season two premiere of Farmer Wants a Wife. It is hosted by one of our favorites, Jennifer Nettles. And actually, four farmers here are looking to lasso the heart of a big city girl. They are Ty Farrell, Brandon Rogers, Nathan Smothers, and Mitchell uh, Kalinsky. It's good to see Hi. you guys. Happy you guys are here. So let's start. Why did you guys think that this might be a good way to find yourself a bride? Yeah, just, just the hope of finding somebody that, you know, coming to your place, your farm, that wants to be there, that's willing to be there, and for love. Yeah, um, okay, for love. Jennifer, you know them all. I do. What makes them all great candidates mm -hmm. for love? Mm, they are so kind and so compassionate and so sweet. They are just good, good, solid souls, all of them. I mean, the, the, the chance, the opportunities that we had, you know, and that I got to see them in their element mm -hmm. with these ladies, they are very, they're gentlemen all the way and, and really in it for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. um, okay, raise your hand if you watched the season last, last season. I did, yes. yes. Oh, not <laughs> okay, yeah, Mitchell. On the Mitchell, end. you don't. I, what happened? I don't have TV or internet, so that was. Uh, so do you oh, love really? our, you love our show? No. <laughs> I'm a big time fan. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you like? It's so interesting because these kind of relationships playing out on television can be funky. So how do you feel like you know if there's a real connection that's going on between you and one of the women? You know, I really think that. You feel that connection. It's an emotional bond, and you feel that special way about that person, and it's reciprocated. And I think all of us are looking for that reciprocation through this process mm -hmm. that, you know, it's real. You can tell. The women are there for the right reasons and the ones that aren't. Mm -hmm. I mean, I also think it's, it's complicated to have somebody say, okay, you may not know anything about yeah. farm life. Mm -hmm. Your city girl or whatever it is, come here and know if they can do it, if they can yeah. assimilate, if they'll be happy. Mm -hmm. um, how did you figure that out? <laughs> yeah, I, I'll definitely say it was tough um, seeing some of the girls. You know, they were fish out of water a lot. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I think one thing that uh, most of the guys were looking for was somebody that could just appreciate the work that we do every day. Yeah. We don't necessarily need them to be right there by our sides working with us, yeah. but somebody that can understand, you know, what we do for a living. Yeah. yeah and then that person, as Jenna was saying, is they're kind of changing their whole life right. and right. trying to fit in this, you know, this spot. So that, I was wondering, because that might work for six months, but do you think, like, we kind of are who we are? Yeah. Like, right. you know, I like, like, like this. This seemed cool, but now I've been here for a few months. Because trying to know that there's going to be a forever bond. You like the something. Starbucks nearby. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it could be that. Yeah. What do you think? You know, they got to be able to put up with it day in, day out. It's a full-time job, so rolling yeah. with the punches on the farm and um, just going in every day with their head held high, knowing that they're going to get the work done with us. Yeah. Is there a lot of smooching and all that, like, in all hot the shows? Is there a hot is, 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 you know, and all the girls are watching it later <laughs> yeah. going, oh, my gosh, is that happening? I, uh, the, the, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes. Well, you know, That's I like, yes. kind of like that he's embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> and Ty, you have a daughter, yes, Lennon. Yeah. So how did you try to make sure she'd be happy with whoever it was? You know, Lennon's always been so grown up for her age, and, yeah. and she's oh, she's so smart. Sweet. And she just she just knew... And she's she has everything that's yeah she's mm -hmm. just my little girl and she she knows what's best for herself and and me. It seems like she's Aww. the most important thing yeah for sure. to you. She's my baby. Oh. Okay, so we want to do a rapid fire. Yeah. Does All that right. sound good? <laughs> okay, this question seems a little strange, but do it. Okay, this is fielding questions. Fielding I see what you this did is there. For us. Oh okay, God. first one. Which farm animal best describes your relationship style? Go. Yeah, just a horse, like gentle, kind, you know, when to get to know it. Oh, nice. good one. You know, for me on the show, it was kind of like herding chickens. <laughs> <laughs> chickens, okay. 
that works. <laughs> okay. For me, probably a dog. I mean, they're always loyal to you, um, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. that's kind of what I look for. Aww. Labrador Retriever, happy-go-lucky, just happy to have him around. Oh, I like that. Domestic All right, here's, here's the next one. If you had to whip up a Valentine's Day meal for your lovely lady, what would you place on the menu? You're definitely going to have to check out the show for my cooking skills on this one. How are they? Uh, Not great? You're going to have to check oh. it out. You're going to have to see. Okay. It's an experience. <laughs> what I would about you? Uh, whip up a steak with some heart-shaped potatoes. Oh, there you look at it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to do a ribeye being in the cattle industry for sure. Okay. Cowboy casserole, was that whatever's in the fridge, I'll make it work. All right. Cowboy, Cowboy casserole. casserole. Okay, describe your perfect date night. Oh, my perfect date night. Definitely just a little sunset, a little music, mm. maybe ride a horse. Just just easy. That I like fun. that. For me, it's going to be quality time, you know, going around checking crops in the evening on yeah. the day and watching the sunset. Sweet. Yeah. For me, honestly, in the back of a pickup truck watching a sunset over the sunset. some Florida lake. The sunset is the best. Nature is the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Nature is the thing. A horseback yeah. ride right down to Percy Priest Lake. There you go. Percy Priest. We like that. Jennifer, this is fun. Oh you picked such Jennifer, a great show to be a part of. I had a ball, and it is such an honor to get to be a part of these love stories and to watch these gentlemen and to watch these ladies on their journey. Yeah. It's 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 fun, it's entertaining, and it's super endearing. And how awesome is she, by the way? The, don't you oh, love she's Jennifer? Fantastic. She yes. all she's fantastic. on the same, same show with Jennifer Nettles. Yes. That's exactly. cool. So it is. Everyone's a, wife, counselor. A counselor. <laughs> You're lucky to have her. She's a wise all one. Right. The second season of Farmer Wants a Wife premieres this Thursday night on Fox.